the gurgling sound, the aromatic smoke, the glowing embers and a group of people herded around a glass hookah has become a common scene around the town. Though we may associate hookah with old men or women sitting around in a courtyard in some village enjoying a smoke and some gossip, nowadays it's the young generation that is trying this in city's restaurants. Alright smokers and friends, I welcome you all to my first ever video on health and nutrition. Being a medical practitioner, our responsibility is not only to cure the diseased people, but also to prevent the occurrence of disease. So, with this thought, I, Razak Ghimri from College of Medical Sciences, Bharatpur, Nepal, present this video in front of you all to shatter your hookah dreams. Okay, so those of you who may not know what hookah is, or you may have seen it, but you're not quite sure what it is, to tell you in short, a few flavored tobacco is placed in a pot above and it is wrapped with a foil. A charcoal is placed above the foil which heats the tobacco. Now when smokers inhale from the pipe, the smoke from heated tobacco comes through the pipe and goes into the lungs. So now the question is, how bad it is? How healthy it is? Well, to tell you the truth, it is as bad as smoking cigarette. Yeah, you heard me right. It is as bad as smoking cigarette and smoking hookah has almost the same or even more negative effects on health as smoking cigarettes do have. So many of you who are watching this video right now might be thinking, but what about the water at the bottom? Doesn't that filter out all the toxins? Well I am going to bust that myth right now because you are wrong. The water filters nothing. Well, now you might again say, then why does the smoke from hookah feel smoother? Well, the smoke from the hookah feels smoother because it has lower temperature and the humidity in the smoke is also high because it has passed through the water. The American Lung Association sees hookah as a growing problem in youth due to misconception that hookah is safe. It is said that those people who smoke hookah were 8 times more likely to try cigarettes too. Studies have shown that 15 to 23 years old people who have never smoked cigarettes but had tried hookah were more likely to have started smoking cigarettes, become a regular cigarette smoker and smoke even more cigarettes per day 2 years later. Well, now the thing to be understood by everyone is that a typical cigarette smoking session lasts for 10 to 20 minutes involving 10 to 20 puffs while a typical hookah smoking session lasts for 45 minutes to 1 hour involving 100 to 200 puffs. So the amount of smoke inhaled during a typical hookah session is about 90,000 milliliter compared to that of 500 to 600 milliliter inhaled during cigarette smoking. So smoking a hookah for a whole session is equivalent to smoking 100 to 180 cigarettes at a time. Well, that's a huge number. The University of Maryland says that hookah smokes contain higher amount of lead, arsenic and other metals, 36 times more tar and 16 times more carbon monoxide. When it comes to addictive substance nicotine, hookah smoke is said to deliver 1.7 times more nicotine than cigarette smoke. So yes, it is just as addictive as smoking cigarette and hookah smokers carry the same health risks as cigarette smokers do. And this includes oral cancer, lung cancer, stomach cancer, esophageal cancer, reduced fertility, reduced lung function and it also affects the fetus. Now, I also do know the people who smoke hookah and unfortunately it is seen as less harmful alternative to smoking cigarette. But I hope this video has helped make things clear that smoking hookah is harmful for you. So tell your family, tell your friends, tell your loved ones, tell everyone because now you know the facts.